All right, hey art peeps, welcome in. Happy art day to you guys. I'm excited about this new project. I haven't done a lettering project in a while. We are doing Robert Indiana's famous love picture on here. Now there's actually a couple of different varieties of this one. We'll talk about that throughout it, but before you get too far into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Click the button and the bell. That's the easiest way to get all my free fun videos. So, so let's get started on here. There'll be four letters um, kind of in little blocks or chunks, probably about the size of your hand. So I just want to kind of fold my paper or put a plus sign to kind of get an idea for where all those go. So I'm going to do a light plus sign. You can fold your paper sometimes, um, depending on which class I do this with, I'll have them fold the paper. But for this one, I'm just going to do a plus sign right about in the middle doesn't have to be perfect i'm just going to do a light one just to get me a little bit of an idea you can see it on there not too dark but just enough so it gives me a little bit of a hint or an idea of where it is Start with that first one i'm going to do an l i'm going to do two lines going down i'm going to start this kind of similar to how i do almost like figure drawing uh i'm going to do it like almost a little bit gesturally um all of these lines are a fancy block letter ish um, so they kind of have this fancy twist on the tops so that all the tops kind of go out and all the bottoms and all the little parts of it kind of add a little extension or a little fancy part of it. So that L I know has to stop, you know, kind of right over here. So that goes over here, bring this line over, and then I know it goes up here. And then again, a little bit flat and then down. Okay, so I got the bottom part of the L. On the absolute bottom of it, we'll kind of go right into that V, but I want to get the top part of the L that kind of curves up and then over. That looks nice. Okay, so I got kind of that L over there. I'm going to go down, right down to the V from there. So that kind of continues down over here on the side of the L and then goes over. And then that'll bump right into this kind of spear that goes down for the v, v at a diagonal. Goes right down here, just to the bottom. About kind of that same thickness. Try to kind of match up that thickness from this one as it would go down here. Not quite all the way down. As it bumps up, goes a little bit over and up. Then this one juts right over to kind of this X that's in the middle here. So that one over there, and that's starting to be our V on that side. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna take a little, maybe like a pencil space, and then start shooting this one right over. This one's definitely a little bit thinner, though. It goes over here. Nice, I like that. Scoots right down here about, and then that E, starts to go down so we kind of got that goes up and then over that shape and then this one also kind of mirrors that little curve on this side curves down here now we're getting to the bottom of our e over here okay kind of got that shape about even get it even huh that was my dad joke okay anyways i'm gonna kind of try to match up some of that thickness over here for the e uh, I'm trying to get a hint of where this is going to go down here. So down, and then this one I know will kind of go over. And then see if that starts to curve up. And then it kind of caps right here, just like a big ramp. Got that part. And then I'm going to kind of do the opposite. I know it's going to be similar where this kind of ramps up. This one kind of ramps down. And I'm going to try to match that up there. That'll kind of be that same shape, but opposite. And then just like this jets over, this one does the same thing. It'll match up there. All right, it's kind of looking pretty good so far. Okay, now in the middle of the E gets really, really skinny in here. Goes straight out, but then goes up to this side. And then I'm just playing with it lightly until I find a good size that I want. And then I can kind of make it a little bit thicker. Okay, nice, nice, I like this. It looks really good over here. Now for probably the most challenging one, the O. It's kind of a sideways shifted O. So the artist for this project is Robert Indiana. Believe it or not, imagine that he is from Indiana. Uh. 
a pretty popular pop artist, had definitely a moment in the 60s and 70s uh, where he was very, very popular, similar to the Andy Warhol popular art, um, really eye-catching designs and blocking like colors in sections and with different words numbers, numbers and a lot of text in his stuff and draw plenty of connections to other artists around that time period but how i actually know him is a basketball reference of course he has a connection to the milwaukee Bucks because um when they were founded in the 70s owners and decision makers during that time period wanted an eye catching a new floor design they had this awesome super cool court design that robert indiana designed in the mecca um basketball arena so that's actually how i even know who robert indiana is and then after doing some research i'm um, finding out about this love picture picture a painting kind of a screen printing but then turned into a sculpture and that's probably the most recognizable piece um of his it's different things that make art a little bit more interesting if you know a little bit of the backstory so let's finish on our O. that's a little bit slanted over here it starts probably up a little bit on this side um i think feel like this probably goes up a little bit higher over here so i can erase that little line here that's why i always start off a little bit lighter okay, so this one juts really really close to here it just kind of pinches over on this side goes over here kind of connects kind of like a big egg shape that's how i kind of started out and then it scoops over here but it kind of gives that little triangle space in between here so as i go around kind of always kind of redefining my circle or my egg shape on this one and then i got that middle part it's really really thin on each of these sides so i kind of put a little mark on here and then know that this kind of goes over this way and then over this way to get really really thin on these top and bottom parts and then thick on the outside so i got it pretty good i'm going to kind of outline that in sharpie play with some of my um proportions and make sure everything matches. So then we'll go through that real quick This is taking a long time, so I think I need to make some magical powers happen, just like... BAM! There it is! Look at that! And even as I sometimes do double BAM! And here, I did another one with watercolor! And that one turned out just as awesome as this one, so I was really, really happy with this project. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I definitely did my little trick of doing my Expo marker a little bit thicker on each side, um, of, of picking one side just to make it look a little bit more 3D, um, and then had some fun with different materials on there. So as always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's Art Channel, and we'll talk to you guys later.